Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to work on making a perfect sentence. Now, you know that a sentence has to have a subject and a predicate. Subject, who, subject, who, predicate is what they do. Predicate is what they do. So as long as you have a subject and as long as you have a predicate, then you have a complete sentence. But today, we're going to talk about an epic, awesome, perfect sentence. Okay? And so we need a subject. And today I picked our subject to be the snake. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some adjectives. So can you think of any adjectives to describe a snake? Did you say long? Yeah, you did. A snake can be very, very long. A snake can be colorful. And a snake can be pretty all their crazy, crazy, crazy patterns. It can also be scaly. Oops, I'm gonna check this one to make sure I spelled that room right. Not sure if I spelled scaly right, so I'm gonna make sure I check that and make sure I spelled it right. Long, colorful, pretty, scaly. Um, ooh, a snake after it eats can be fat or gorged, right? It can be a fat snake. It can be loud. Have you ever heard a rattlesnake when it rattles? I can't put rattles because that's not an adjective. It's not a describing word. So I have long, colorful, pretty, scaly, fat, and loud. Um, and I'm gonna write sneaky. They sneak up on you. They're so camouflage, right? Two, they blend in. Ooh, I'm gonna write um, an ad. Oh, no, I'm gonna keep that one. All right, snake. Now, what can a snake do? Can you think of some things that a snake can do? It can slither. It can slide. It can curl up. It can curl up into a ball. It can rise up like a king cobra. It can rise. A verb is something you can, it can do. So if you can do it, then it is a verb. Can it eat? Yes, a snake can eat. And it can open its mouth really, really, really wide. And so I'm going to say it can also open. And guess what? What can a rattlesnake do when it tells you it's morning, right? What does it do at the end of the snake? It rattles. And can you rattle? Can you rattle? Then yes, it is a verb. So you can rattle. All right. Now, an adverb is kind of tricky for third grade friends, but an adverb is going to tell us how, when, where, or how much with a verb, okay? And it normally ends in an L-Y. So how can a, um, a snake eat? It can eat quickly. Sw it swallows, oops, another verb, swallows. Um, and how does it curl? tightly, right? It can curl so tightly into a ball. And how does it slither? It can slither, slither sneakily, sneakily, okay? Um, and it can rise up quickly, or it also attacks its prey, right? Stealthily. Stealthily. I'm going to leave that one blank make sure I spell it correctly. And it can rattle loudly. Okay. All right. Rattle loudly. Um, anything else you can think of? Any other L-Y's things that it can do that describes the verb? Add it right here to your list. And look at all the words I have just about snakes. Isn't that cool? All right. A prepositional phrase tells us when and it tells us where. Okay. So I want you to think about a little squirrel. If I put a little squirrel right here, and mind you, don't look at my picture, not the great artist, okay? But if a squirrel can do it to a tree, then that's a prepositional phrase. Like the word by, it can go up the tree, it can go down the tree, it can be near the tree, it can be on the tree, it can be off the tree, it can be over the tree, it can be under the tree, it can be in the tree, hiding its um, nuts from its predators, right? or somebody who likes to steal all those nuts that they gather. All right, so now that I have, oh, I'm gonna do my personal phrase. So where can a snake be? Can it be near a rock? It could be near a rock. It could be under, uh, it could 
be under a tree, okay? It could be on, oh my goodness, I went to Skyline and it was on the trail. It was just on the trail. It could be in the grass. It could be, I use under, it could be by, could be by, by, um, thinking where it can be, by, by, by the, we can even say by the road. And it could be in a tree, okay? All right, so now that we have all of our adjectives, our verbs, our parts of speech are completely filled out, now we can make that perfect sentence and I'm gonna let you know how to do it. I'm gonna get another marker, okay? And I'm gonna pick two adjectives and I'm gonna pick long and colorful and I'm gonna get another marker because this one is not a good one. I'm gonna pick long and colorful and then I'm gonna pick that the snake is going to rattle. And that rattle is going to not be, it, I guess a rattle could be quickly, but it can't be tightly, right? So I'm going to say that it, it's going to rattle loudly. And I'm going to say on the trail, because that's where I saw it when I was at Skyline. I saw it on the trail. And so now we're going to take all the words we circled and we're going to make the perfect sentence. So ready? Here we go. The long, colorful, snake rattle and I got to change this because it did it yesterday so I'm gonna rattle loudly on the trail and I'm gonna make sure that I have a capital at the beginning of my sentence and I have the right punctuation at the bottom or at the end of my sentence, which is a period, okay? And that right there is the perfect sentence. How do I know it's the perfect, oh, you can't even see my period. There's my period, okay? Um, how do I know it's the perfect sentence? Does it have a subject? Subject who? Subject who? Who is the subject in this sentence, the long, colorful snake? Well, it's the snake, and he's long and colorful. So does it have a subject? The answer is yes. Now, does it have a predicate? Subject who? Subject who? Predicate is what they do. Predicate is what they do. So what did our subject, the, the colorful long snake, do? He rattled loudly on the trail. So right here is my subject. And right here is my predicate. And because my sentence has a subject and a predicate, I know that it's a complete sentence. And because I used all the parts of speech, I know that this sentence is the perfect sentence. Can you make up the perfect sentence? I can't wait to hear them.